Well, um, if I may ask, just, I like the presentation, I like the idea itself, but can someone in one sentence, just one sentence, explain me what, what you're suggesting, one sentence only? So, uh, like you know what kind of solution you want to use? Uh, you are proposing a solution, so if you, if that's what you want to describe, yes, in one sentence. Well, like so what you are proposing? Well, like what I think you know, it's uh, use MySQL as a database, uh, like together with PHP. It's what we're thinking right now, so. Thank you. I was not asking about technical okay. details. Right. I'm asking about, again, your overview. So you, again, you propose, you're proposing a new way, new approach, and in one sentence, I would like to hear what it is. A system that will allow the employees of people in tech to keep track of and to update student and client information without having to use paper, which mm -hmm. in turn should save money for the company. Mm -hmm. All right. I still have a few questions which I wanted to ask later on. Thank you. That right. was a good answer. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> my question is related to why Monster or any other job placement companies that are, you know, widely, that are already popular uh, in the market, why you would still like to have job placement done on your website or your, on your solution, through your solution, than just going through, you know, what everybody else is doing, you know, Monster and all those other websites. As a cost saving means that's the motivation because as we said earlier, it's about $25,000 a year. So the thought pattern is, well, why pay money if we can just do it ourselves for less? So that's, that's the motivation for wanting to do the one system. In your business plan, have you, have you checked uh, like drawing that many people to your website, how much that is going to cost? Specific number, no. Um, there certainly will be probably fees and for advertising, I would imagine, because people don't just think, hey, people want to well, we yeah. talk to them. So I'm sure that will be a fee that will be incurred at some point. Will be $25,000 worth of money? That remains to be seen. Is this what they're paying for one job post posting? Per, per year. Per year. Thank you. Yes. Well, um, I think you proposed the solution you propose is the goal you want to achieve, reduce paper, reduce you know, staff, etc. But what are the objectives? What are the specific methods you want to you know, get to the goal? We can say, yes, a system that will do all this. So how special, what are the special characteristics or capabilities of this system that can solve the uh, problems you have presented? What are the special capabilities? It would be a standardized system where people in tech would have access to all the data from all uh, throughout all locations, and uh, they would manipulate this information, and they would have the clients uh, coming to this location and uh, pull up, uh, you know, the students, uh, the, the candidates' information and everything, okay. and, and also like you know a system that they could like you know um, interact with people in tech, not have to go to like. Or people in tech not have to go to a third from carry itself. So centralized interactive um, digital, you know, exactly. handle electronic information. And it doesn't mean that once you know this IT solution is implemented, then the number of the employees will ultimately limit it. Right? How many so have you thought about how many people will get fired <laughs> as a result of this? The whole process takes tremendous time for the employees to process I mean, all the paperwork and information plus other stuff. If, they, uh, if the system is implemented, then um, people in tech has employees, but they don't have to cut that down. I mean, if they could cut it, cut it down and have like you know, two or three employees possibly with the same stuff uh, each location, and they would love, like, they would more love to, like, you know, um, pay these students, I mean, I mean, I mean, the consultant, into the job market. They have that ability, and they could also make money on that, too. So not necessarily, like, you know, somebody taking out, you know, taking the job away from him. But they could pay these you know, people into the job. Yeah, they're not just going to dump them on the street. They're going to put any reduced staff through their own program, place them into the job market. Thank you. That's good. <coughs> yes, ma'am. 
So this entire company has only 20 employees? Right. 20. 20 employees in five locations, two overseas. 20 employees, five locations, two of them overseas? Yes, sir. India and Bangladesh. Um, do they have a third party actually executing the teaching function? Their own staff The consultants that they place, um, what percentage, if any, are other than um, graduates from their training program? It was mentioned 90%. 90% are, are graduates. Um, I think in your slide it quantified the problem. Um, you've got costs of the current process, um, but they are, I don't think they are the costs of what you can reduce. And, and, I'm, and I'm really after the $1.4 million. The $1.4 million is the cost of the current 20 employees. Um, the discussion of how you calculate it, that's what it is. Um, if you automate uh, all these forms, uh, clearly you can <coughs> save some time from those employees. Um, I, I would argue saving time doesn't save money unless you fire some. But conceivably you can fire them, but you can't save $1.4 million or your 20 employees go to zero. So, so what is your notion on if you implement an IT solution to get rid of this paper. What <coughs> portion of the 1.4 is related to this paper problem? And in 1.4, I don't know what the number is, but I'm sure it isn't 1.4, because that's all your employees. No, uh, we never intend on eliminating that number because then they would have no one. Right. So it all depends on. So the problem, I'm, 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 all I'm trying to argue is the problem is not 1.4. The problem is some portion of 1.4 that is tied to the paper process. Right. Can you give me some guesstimate as to what portion of the 1.4 is being paid to use the paper system that you potentially could get rid of if you could get them out of the paper system and into your automated system? Theoretically, at the max amount, I don't think this would be the final number. Let's just say they were able to get it down to one employee at each station. I don't think that's what the number will be. But just in theory, I would take that uh, 70,000 times five and come up with that number. And again, that's that's why in our solution slide, we just said we want to reduce that number because we know realistically that we can't get rid of it. And exactly how much will be able to be eliminated by all depends on how well the solution turns out. Um, but that that is part of your business case. In other words, I, I've got that they are spending, you know, a, a significant portion, almost 80% of their gross profits is tied up with their people and this process. But all their people are not tied to this process. So, so what you need to argue in your business case is what is my potential to save out of this 1.525460 number? And it's not that number. I mean, we just... Just argued, you can't get rid of it. Um, this this small twenty-person organization, and, and so it's trying to get the magnitude of the potential value of your solution. You with me? Yes. Um, and, and so I, I know that it get refined, uh, but when you lay down some of the implementation issues, they're they're arguing that there's some variability. I'm just saying. It, it can't be 1.4. And, and so 1.4 is the operating cost of the organization. It is not the cost of the paper system. Okay. And so I think that gives us an action item before we begin 493, is to take it the next step. As you said, we intend to save some of it. So quantifying how much do we intend to save, that will give us something to show on 493. So figure out exactly how many of these employees we can get rid of and then go with that new number. Exactly. As the question came in a different format, what's the goal? Rather than saying there's a pot to shoot at, let's give us a goal, a business case. 
Uh, very good presentation. Good graphics. Finally, thank you.